Hey, hi there. Good morning. Today I wanted to talk to you about one issue in development cooperation communications that is about not being targeted enough on what your customer needs, what your information recipient expects of you. And I wanted to bring in one thought here, and that is you need to think like a salesperson. So my recommendation is basically everybody who's working in development cooperation communication should take a sales course or somebody even who makes decisions on communications issues should do that. And because I know that it's not very likely to happen, I thought I'm going to talk to you quickly about the issue here. The first issue is obviously that we sell something in development cooperation communications, our projects basically, that have been bought already. The taxpayer has paid for it already. So obviously this leads to some issues in terms of how am I going to portray this? How am I going to make this efficient? And obviously also it makes the issue troublesome that the stuff has been bought already. So there's no real pressure on you. But leaving that aside, let me just go quickly into two books and what I took from them. So the first one here is Seduction by Robert Greene. It's this book here. Basic thing that I take from this is seduction, as he says it, is all about making everything about the other person. It's not about how you look, how great you look and all these things. Actually, if you spend too much time on your looks and how you prepare yourself uh, for the next meeting, that gives the impression that you all make it about yourself, how you look and all these. And that is not very conducive to a good outcome. So persuasion, seduction is all about making the other one feel that it is about them. Secondly, I have this book here, Jordan Belfour, The Way of the Wolf. Basically, Jordan Belfour is the guy that um, is the, the character in the movie with um, DiCaprio, A Wolf of Wall Street. So he's the real figure behind this. And he was obviously a very successful salesperson. And one of the things that I wanted to bring to you from this book is that he at some point realized that everything is in life is about selling. Basically, you sell ideas, sell products. It doesn't matter. It's all about selling. So also, if you run a development project, it's all about selling. Second thing that he says, it's it's basically the inside that every sale is basically the same. It's about trying to get from point A to point B, and that is the sale. And the sale is all about getting away with uncertainty on the side of the uh, potential buyer, the person that needs to believe you. You need to get rid of that uncertainty. So how can we achieve this? Basically, three things that he says, and this is sort of a, an advice when you go into an interview situation is, A, you want to look smart, sharp. So how are you going to do this? I think, you know, think about food security. So if somebody asks you something that is related to food security, you can say something like, well, food security is very complex. And just imagine the different factors that go in there that nowadays exists, uh, social, they're political and this and that. So it's not like uh, 50 years ago where you had a situation in a country where there was not enough food. We don't have food crises like that anymore. It's basically always enough food in a country. It's just the issue that people don't have enough money to buy that food. So that would be something smart to say. Or you could say something like, uh, development cooperation is uh, more complex because if you really want to help most uh, poor people being very efficient, then you need to acknowledge that most poor people live in middle income countries and not in the poor countries, just because it includes India and so forth. So the vast number is in poor countries, uh, in middle income countries, sorry. And 
that means that you have to have a totally different cooperation with these these kind of governments because a middle income uh, country government uh, is totally differently structured it has to cater for its uh, upcoming uh, middle classes and so forth so it's a different cooperation so these are sort of just examples how you can uh, make a sharp entry point in an interview the second thing is that you need to be enthusiastic so you need to pick a point where you can talk with passion about it and you need to show this so obviously uh, pick something that where your where your um, uh, mind is and your professional um, drive is really connected to and show that so say something about politicians uh, being in the way of what you're doing and that they never really react to what you're suggesting to them and that you want to acknowledge this by that you thought about that actually you shouldn't talk to politicians and policymakers him or herself but that you need to actually put some leverage and talk to the constituency to address certain people in the uh, in the constituency that have a lot of power and can talk to the politicians because politicians actually do react when they feel that their power base is affected so you acknowledge that you really want to do something so you look at the political economy and all this third point that comes from P jordan peter's uh, insights about sales is be an expert so being an expert is not really difficult for most people in development cooperation they have this sort of background but the the point is here that you take the right kind of information that is really <clears throat> driving your information home that has something to do with your recipient that is not only driven by the fact that you think that this is really impressive think of what would really impress people and now I come back to the very beginning of what I said. You basically have to acknowledge that you're selling something to someone that has, who has paid for that already. This is a difficult point. So I think what you should do is you should talk about what in the future will come out of what you uh, want to spend money on. Not so much what you spend the money in your project on already. I know that this is an issue because obviously you want to be um, you know accountable and all these issues it's it's very true but you know if you it's a, a bit of an awkward situation if you trying to convince somebody of something that they have paid already before they feel a little bit like, bit like as if they never had a chance to decide on where the money went so rather talk about where you think your um, endeavors will go in the future and to wrap this up obviously these three points to making a good sales pitch being sharp being enthusiastic being an expert they are not three separate items on a list that you talk to not three separate questions you actually need to combine them in the first couple of seconds actually the first four to five seconds if you are really good because that's what Jordan Peters says in the first four to five seconds you make up your mind whether you like someone, whether you trust someone. You judge the book by the cover, as he says, there's nothing you can do about it. So do your sales training, do your pitch training. Think about this.